Hello Angel. I promise that this video can truly change your life. As I always say, success depends a lot on you. Today, more than ever, I need you to actively engage, dedicating just a few minutes. Set aside all distractions and focus here with me. This video discusses vibrations in a somewhat different way. Don't worry about understanding everything I say right now. Often, my videos are scripted in advance, but today we will step away from that conventional format. I will put myself in the shoes of a great friend and narrate a story in the first person. This friend provided me with a significant reflection at one point in my life. So let's approach this as a casual conversation. The concept of vibration has generated increasing curiosity. Every day, more people seek to understand this better, and as a result, the amount of available information is also growing. You might be wondering, if there is already so much information out there, why continue discussing this? Well, friends, there are several ways to explore this knowledge. Some delve into technical details, confusing more than clarifying, while others get lost in fantastical theories that offer little help. Facing these challenges is quite common. Some concepts are really difficult to explain. Additionally, there are moments when, in trying to say exactly what people want to hear, we end up straying so far from the path that we don't arrive anywhere. But how can I approach this topic without getting lost in extremes? How can I talk about vibration without diving into complicated technicalities or fantasies disconnected from reality? After much reflection, I decided to take two simple paths. First, I will simplify the concept of vibration, leaving excessive technical details aside. But for those who wish to dive deeper, I will provide a link to a video where I discuss the topic in a more technical manner. Second, I want to share a personal experience that illustrates the power of maintaining a high vibration. This experience is part of my own life, making it more authentic and distant from any fantasy. After all, I love my life just the way it is, simple and real, and I'm still working to make it better. Experts claim that vibration is the energy that drives everything in the universe, affecting particles, atoms, and molecules, including you. They say that vibrations can be high or low. When we feel good, we vibrate high, when we feel bad, we vibrate low. The key to achieving our desires would be to learn how to elevate our vibration. However, here's the crucial point, it seems we need to be experts to vibrate high. No, friends, we must not forget the essentials, our emotions and how we feel. You do not need to be an expert to learn how to vibrate high. You already know that vibrating high means feeling good. Do you really need someone to teach you how to feel good? After all, you are the only one capable of managing your emotions. So why look for that outside of yourself? Let's simplify an idea here, vibrating high is basically feeling good, and that's all we need to understand. The technical details really don't matter in this context. We are talking about transitioning between positive and negative emotions, not just about high and low vibrations. It's a mistake to think that the only way to attract what we desire is by always maintaining a high vibration. Even when we are not in that ideal state, we continue to attract experiences into our lives. In fact, we spend a lot of time feeling bad, dissatisfied, depressed, stressed, and desperate, and yet the universe keeps responding, bringing more of the same. The real value of this topic is recognizing that we are constantly vibrating, meaning we are always feeling something. The simplest solution is to try to maintain a constant sense of well-being. This, in essence, could ensure that everything in your life flows in the direction you desire. So what's the problem here? Let me share my vision. 
The problem is that we are often told that in order to attract certain things, we need to vibrate at specific frequencies, as if we were radios tuning into channels to catch the right station. Of course, explaining vibration using terms like frequency and antenna can be helpful to a certain extent, but we don't need to complicate things too much. And remember, this is just my opinion. We all have the freedom to believe what we want. But as far as I know, I'm not a radio, I'm a person. If you're looking for a video about frequencies and antennas, maybe this one isn't for you. But if you want to understand my perspective on vibration and how it impacted my life to the point of completely transforming it, you're in the right place. I will tell this story of how I went from a depressing life to one that I truly love, without decorating it with rainbows or unicorns. I had stopped dreaming. I believe we all have an idea of what we want for our lives, but at some point, that idea began to fade. Suddenly, I realized that I had spent five years working in a small office shared with two colleagues. One of them sat across from me, he was a very serious and uncommunicative man. In five years, our conversation was limited to quick chats during lunch, always about his children. Next to me, over ten colleagues passed by the other table during that time. In fact, I only remember the last one because, unknowingly, he would play a crucial role in a decisive moment. The situation in my life led me to search for something more, anything that would give meaning to my existence. Because believe it or not, a life without emotions is just as unsatisfactory as a chaotic life. There I was, sitting in the office every day, staring at the computer screen, and the only escape from the routine seemed to be browsing the internet. One day, I came across the documentary, The Secret, and something clicked within me. I was fascinated and began to devour information on all these mystical subjects that promised a new perception of the universe. I was thirsty for something that would bring meaning to my life, something that would generate emotion and represent a real change. Now, I want to share something crucial with you, something that can make a difference. The secret opened the doors to my spiritual journey, but ironically, it took me years to truly understand what it was trying to teach me. I struggled to read between the lines and grasp the essence of its message. In fact, more than a year passed from my initial interest in spiritualism until I truly immersed myself and explored its possibilities. Recently, I shared something essential that may not have been noticed, so I would like to reiterate. It has been over a year since I started putting into practice everything I learned, and this is significant because I don't want you to take as long as I did to take action. When we are dissatisfied with our lives, it's easy to be tempted by any promise of change. Almost any activity that takes us out of our routine can seem like a good option, whether it's playing a video game or watching a soap opera. I have been where many of you are now, which is why I want to share some reflections in the hope that they will be useful. Pay attention, when we feel dissatisfied with our reality, when we feel incomplete, and when it's hard to find purpose, it's tempting to think that simply by maintaining a positive attitude, everything will be resolved. This is a comfortable way to live, staying still, watching life pass by, imagining our desires, and waiting for the universe to handle it. Imagining that one day, the clouds will part, and our wishes will fall into our laps. The law of attraction does exist, but it's not as simple as it seems. Somehow, we need to conquer what we desire, and the same universe you consult to fulfill your wishes is watching you, just sitting there, waiting. Please don't waste valuable time believing that everything you seek is outside of you, waiting to be delivered. What you truly seek is within you, but that is a topic for another video. Continuing, when I finally realized, after a year, that it wasn't enough just to wish for something for it to happen, I decided to take action. It was time to put all these spiritual ideas into practice. This motivation led me to study more about vibrations, and after delving into the subject, I decided to do what I really love, 
simplify. I developed a plan and set a specific goal to get a promotion at work. I knew I needed to maintain a high vibration to attract what I wanted, but given my current state, that seemed like an impossible mission. Various external factors were influencing my mood, making it difficult to maintain that high vibration, or in other words, to feel good. This was my first challenge. At that moment, I didn't know that the universe puts obstacles in our path when we make important decisions. I'm not referring to spiritual tests, but to real barriers. But that is also a topic for another conversation. To overcome this challenge, I decided to seek more information. Everyone kept repeating the same thing, it's a matter of perception. You can't change the outside, only the inside. If you want to change the world, start by changing yourself. And there are thousands of similar phrases that emphasize that true power lies within us. And that is true, but when you start your spiritual journey, it's complicated to accept these ideas, especially since I was just beginning to understand the concept of manifesting desires. Of course, I didn't have time to completely transform my interior and see the world differently. Instead, I clung to what seemed most convenient at that moment, we are the creators of our own reality. That struck me as quite curious. I was able to affirm to myself, I am the creator of my reality and, in my perception, it is indeed possible to change the outside world. Fortunately, I had already learned that merely wishing for something is not enough, so I began to take action. Pay attention because what I am about to share can be useful in your lives, just adapt it to your own situation. Before moving on, I want to remind you that every week I bring at least two interesting videos here on the channel. If you want to explore your spiritual side in a simple and direct way, don't forget to subscribe and follow along on the channel. Now, let's continue. I wrote down everything that bothered me, my neighbor always played loud music in the mornings, which irritated me right at the start of the day, the 40-minute bus ride to work, which was always crowded at that time, only worsened my mood, the monotonous silence of the office and the repetitive conversations about my colleagues' kids during lunch left me feeling down. Additionally, my sedentary lifestyle was causing me to gain weight. These were the four main factors that made my life unbearable. How could I resolve this? How could I change my situation? Before answering those questions, I have a special invitation for you, Discover the Power of Positive Thinking, a transformative guide to redefine your mental reality. I realized I needed to eliminate everything that was preventing me from vibrating at a high frequency. The irony is that, while trying to change my external surroundings. I ended up completely transforming myself, and after much reflection, I realized that trying to change the circumstances around me was futile. For example, I considered turning up my music to drown out my neighbor's sound, but I didn't want to listen to music early in the morning. Using headphones also didn't appeal to me, and taking a taxi every day was out of the question for financial reasons, just like ensuring the bus was always empty. Additionally, I couldn't ask my colleague to stop talking about his children, as I needed to be understanding, and I also didn't have time for the gym due to work demands. However, the solutions were right in front of me, I just needed to see them. The next day, I woke up half an hour before my neighbors started playing music and decided to walk to work. The walk took about 25 minutes, and instead of being a nuisance, I discovered that this would help me lose weight, eliminating the need to go to the gym. On the way, I noticed a lady selling coffee in a park, and for the first time, I appreciated the beauty of that place, something I had never noticed while passing by on a bus. Resisting the urge to stop, I continued on my way to work, arriving five minutes earlier than usual. When I saw my colleague, I decided to ask about his children, and his face lit up, happy to share. The conversation flowed so well that the office, which usually was quiet during lunchtime, gained new energy. 
I realized that, despite sharing the same space for five years, we didn't truly know each other. It was then that I understood, the solution had always been within my reach, I just couldn't see it before. I resolved several issues at once. The next day, I kept the same routine but with a small difference, I didn't have coffee at home. When I arrived at the park, I bought coffee from the lady and sat on a bench to enjoy it. Those minutes of tranquility made all the difference, giving me a new perspective on life. While sitting there, observing people rushing around without looking around or acknowledging anyone, I noticed how stressed they seemed, with crowded buses and constant noise. But for the first time, I wasn't part of that chaos. If someone were to ask me what peace is, I would say it's being able to sit in a park and simply watch life pass by. If they ask me about gratitude, I would say it's enjoying a coffee without worries. And if they asked about spiritual awakening, I would say it's being able to observe the world calmly from a park bench. Just two days earlier, I was caught in the same hustle as those people I was watching, but now everything looked different. This new routine became part of my life. Less than a month later, my colleague remarked that I seemed different, lighter. It was at that moment that I realized I was vibrating at a higher frequency, feeling good about myself and projecting that energy into the world around me. I only needed one thing to complete this feeling, the promotion I was waiting for. And I was ready for it. I want to clarify something, until that point, I had never directly felt the influence of the universe in my life. Everything I had achieved was a result of my own decision to change. In fact, what the universe seemed to have reserved for me wasn't particularly encouraging. Or perhaps it was, but I took a while to notice. Three months passed, and then my boss introduced his nephew, who would take the position I so dearly wanted. At that moment, it felt like the world was collapsing around me. The situation worsened when I noticed my colleagues' sympathetic glances, as they were aware of my interest in that role. For a few minutes that felt like an eternity, I questioned everything I believed. I thought that the law of attraction and all this talk about the universe were mere illusions. But then something curious happened. Upon noticing my disheartenment, a colleague commented that this was exactly why his brother had chosen to become self-employed. That word resonated in my mind, self-employed. It had always been an option, but I had never seriously considered it. Why continue working for someone who didn't value my effort? Why did I need to experience that disappointment to see another path? With this new perspective, I regained my positive energy and set a new goal, to become independent. A month later, I handed in my resignation. With a clearer mind, I began to reflect on all of this, and today, with more experience, I can understand what truly happened. I intensely desired a better job, but the universe knew that deep down, that wasn't what I really wanted. It makes sense, after all, why seek a promotion in a place where I wasn't completely happy? This is where the power of the subconscious comes into play, a topic I always emphasize in my videos. However, that's a subject for another time. My story doesn't end here. As I mentioned at the beginning, my life completely changed thanks to the law of attraction. Today, I dedicate my time to helping others find positive transformations in their own lives. This video is just a small sample of what I can do for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed recording it. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Together, we can make the world a better place. See you in the next video. Thank you.